You know, replacement garage door opener clickers sure can be taxing on a fella's wallet, especially when it comes to finding one that works. If your garage door opener is about circa 1982, so you know this just this just ain't gonna work. Well, what you can do is a fella can get him one of these little E Milo thingies. It's a pretty simple single channel wireless switch they actually make these multiple channels this little guy costs a fellow about 12 bucks on amazon comes with two single clicker remotes with that little little keychain dangle there real simple little device if i can pop the little bastard open there we go we just uh we got a, a simple relay in here it's got its typical three contacts a common normally closed normally open and then you put 12 volts power into it you can use this to turn on and off lights, all sorts of stuff, but you can also set it to be a momentary switch. So as long as I'm holding the button, the relay is on, let go, the relay is off. You can hook that right in to the circuit to operate the garage door opener. So that's what we're going to do, is we're going to install this little jackass into my garage door opener. In order to do that, though, I've got to get up to the fucking garage door opener. So I decided it would be wise to perhaps try to uh, program this little fella first before even going up there. So what I got here is just a regular little power brick. Uh, you can find these things all over the place. If you got an old wireless router or something laying around your house, chances are it's 12 volts. Just look in the nomenclature here, and you're going to find the output. In this case, you can't quite see it because it's so damn tiny, but it says 12 volts, 3 amps. So this is great for powering just about any 12 volt device. So it only has about 3 amps of power. With 3 amps of power, you can turn on a car stereo. You just can't crank it up very loud because there's just not enough juice. But it can be used for testing all sorts of things, running LED lights. Or in this case, we can power up this little guy. Now, of course, I cut the barrel jack off the end of it. And typically, on almost all cases, I'm going to say 90, 95% of these cases, the uh, wire with a stripe versus the solid color wire the wire with the stripe is going to be your positive. It's probably best to check that with a multimeter just in case, because obviously you don't really want to fry anything. So I'm just going to hook that into this little guy and kind of see what she gives. In fact, I'm going to see if I can pull this board out of here to make it so I can actually see the labeling on here. Because uh, I can't say that I've got good enough eyes to see that far in. I mean, yeah, I mean, this circuit board is so barely printed, you know, it's underneath the plastic. You can't barely see it. But I see right here it says in negative and in positive. So that's my power input. They don't say something convenient like, oh, 12 volts in. No, it's just in. You know, it's okay, thanks, sure. So I'm just going to jam these wires in here temporarily. I'm not even going to worry about screwing them down. Because this is just for testing. And obviously you don't want your bare wires to be touching. Or you run into other problems. So I'm just going to plug this DC jack in here. I got a little green light come on on this little fella here. Oh, my damn wire came out. Eh, get in there, you ass. So, right now, its default is on, off, on, off. So one click turns it on, one click turns it off. And there's not really even any indicator to tell you. You just listen for the click. So what I gotta do is figure out how to read Chinese and program this little fella. I tell ya. Hmm. Especiones? No. Characteristas? No. Impositone? No. Precautiones? Eh. Crepes. I mean, this thing's huge! Well, that's straight Chinese right there. I definitely can't read that. Oh, here we go. Here's some English instructions. All right. Now to see if I can figure this little a-hole out. Okay, well, according to these here Chinese instructions, it tells you you got to press and hold this little button until the red light goes green, then back to red, something like that, or vice versa. Red, then green, then back to red. I don't know. And that apparently clears out the code. So in order to program the damn thing, you have to clear out the remotes, which sounds kind of stupid. Um, so then you chew, you hold the button down until it blinks once for momentary, twice for toggle, etc. Um, and then you hit the button again, and you hit the remote, and then you hold the button until it blinks back and forth again. And then if you're lucky, 
when you let go of the button a moment later, it'll blink twice again, telling you it actually accepted the remote, which didn't work the first two times. And now, I have it where one remote is working. It's momentary. This remote, it's lighting up on the board when I push it, but it ain't doing shit. Now what? Gotta have to read these here Chineseium instructions some more. I figured it out. Okay. So, normal mode, it's on green. You hold the button down until it turns red, and then it goes back to green, and then it'll cycle red to green once for momentary, red to green twice for latching, red to green three times for toggle, which I don't know what the fuck the difference is between toggle and latching, whatever. So I had to do it over and over a couple of fucking times. Once you have it set to what you want, in this case, one flash for momentary, I let go of the button, and then it says it's ready for remote pairing. So you hold the button again. The minute it turns red, you hit the remote, it blinks, and then you just let go of the button, and that remote works. But that's only one fucking remote. There's no instructions on here to tell you how to make a second fucking remote work. I'll just do half the instructions. Just hold it down till it turns red, hit the button on the other remote, bam, it's done, it works, it's simple. These instructions are garbage. But, now, ready for install. Fucking A. Alright, so here's what we got on the back of the garage door opener. The two wires that normally go together, right here, you see this little thin wire. This is what's going over to the button on the wall. So I added a piece of speaker wire that's going to go up to where this little guy is going to connect. So let me set the tripod down here. The tri Try penis. Try try poop. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right there, please. Thank you. Um, what I did is I've got another power adapter here that actually has the barrel jack on the end, and I've got a little female barrel jack that I saved from some LED lights. So like I said, red's positive, black's negative, and you've got your in negative, in positive, and then you've got three contacts for the relay. You've got NC is normally closed, common, common, com, and then NO, normally open. So in this case, we're using NO in common, and then we're not going to use NC at all. That way, when the relay is engaged, it connects those two wires. If you use common and NC normally closed, when the relay is off, it'll connect the wires, which can be useful for some projects. So we're just going to jam these in. And honestly, this doesn't even matter which one goes into where. What color of it doesn't matter. There's, there's no polarity here. It's literally just a switch. So I'm just going to connect this little guy in here, snug it up nice. This little guy goes into normally open, snug it up, and click, torque to spec. And then just to uh, go the extra nine yards, I'm going to use this little plastic shit box that it comes with. Well, maybe, if the wires will fit inside of it. More or less. Sure. Why not? Oh yeah, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Plug the power in. And now, dig a remote out of my pocket. There we go. Again, to stop it. And to close. We'll test that out further in a second. Now for the real test to make sure this thing works. And the biggest thing is not losing too much heat out the garage. So we're going to bring the wife's ripper in. And make sure I gotta check some things on the front end. Steep hill, gotta kinda get a little run at it. Button, yeah, she's opening up. Oh yeah, stop it there. Don't need to go all the way up. Button back down. Just like butter. Sweet. So there we go. It's pretty simple. Beautiful. I like it.